Social networking is a recent phenomenon that's taken the industry by storm. It's all about communication. People with common interests can now share information with each other using a number of different means. Most of us are familiar with sites such as Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and MySpace. Professionals in the music business recognize social networking as an invaluable resource in developing and promoting one's career. Connecting with others, music and video sharing, and promoting upcoming gigs are some of the many ways these services are useful. To better understand the benefits of using these sites, let's hear what some highly respected individuals in the industry have to say about social networking as it pertains to the music business. What does social networking in the music business mean to you? Social networking is the easiest way to contact people and be contacted. Everything has gotten so much easier to talk to people in other states, in other cities, in other countries. And without it, it would have been so much harder to try to figure out who these bands were, or even if the bands existed. So that's pretty much, to me, what it does. It just opens the doors to a whole new universe of music. Well, it gives a platform to an emerging artist and company, or established company for that matter, the chance to get out sharp, concise, you know, condensed information in, in one place um, as many times as you want to send it out a day, you know, and as much information as you want to send out a day. It's not an in-depth resource, but it can drive interest to uh, lead people to go search out more in-depth information, and that's uh, been a big help, I think, for the industry as a whole, not only for companies like Sabian, but for all of our artists and uh, our other partners, you know, in order to just get the message out there. Well, taking it from an angle of, as a music producer, uh, it means that I can promote myself and my artists in many ways that I wasn't able to do before. And uh, today I'm not able to do it in ways that I'll likely be able to do it in three months from now as the technology progresses. It just puts you in touch in a level that clearly you couldn't do before unless you lived in the middle of the largest city in the world and were constantly out just knocking on doors. I mean, there's no way that you could possibly have come across as many people physically in the period of time that you now can in a span of hours on Facebook or Gear Sluts or MySpace or any of those sites. And it's still the same thing. That is a very, very important aspect of making a living as a musician, getting to new work and meeting new people. You used to do it exclusively uh, in person at bars, at concerts, backstage, at other people's shows, etc. And now you have the, the option and possibility to do it also digitally, in addition to the personal elbow rubbing. So now you can also social network uh, via whatever Facebook, MySpace, etc. So it's just an addition to what we already had, and it's a good, very comfortable, and a sort of easy solution. Right now, I think it's it's a f great form of free advertising. You know, if you get uh, a customer in in your store that uh, loves your store, loves the way they were treated in your store, loves the deal they got, or loves the work that you did for them, um, they'll post it on Facebook or Twitter about it, um, and, and um, it, it just it reaches so many people. You know. Um, Back in the day when you were advertising in the newspaper or just in a phone book, you know, a, a few hundred people or a few thousand people saw your stuff. Now, somebody posts something and it's, you know, it's unlimited how many people can see something about you. So, you have to be on your toes, you know, because uh, you do one thing wrong to one person or what they perceive is wrong and it's it could be over for you. Well, to me, it, it means a lot of things, actually. Of course, you want people to know about your gig. I have a gig tonight, so it goes without saying you got to put that on Facebook and Twitter. And if you don't have a Facebook and Twitter account, then it's like you don't have a phone, almost. Back in the old days, before all this stuff, people would get, get on the phone and they'd have to call each other, and it would take like all day, and then you'd want to call a second time, maybe, and you're spending all this time on the phone where you can just put up one thing and you're going to hit most of your friends if it's a local gig. So for that, for gig promotion, it's obviously the best thing. Social networking also in the form of like YouTube videos. 
I can't tell you how many gigs have come my way either directly or indirectly through people seeing my stuff online. And I'm sure you've had the same experience. It's like, you say you're good, you're great, your band is great. Well, now you can put your money where your mouth is. You can show the world. If you're not somebody that has some sort of video or tracks up, then you're probably not ready to do that yet. You're probably not ready to show people. You gotta have stuff that's YouTubeable, some good footage from gigs. If you're playing drums like we play, you gotta have some good quality audio that's not overdriving the speaker. It's gotta sound right and people can see what you do.